Hi guys, it has been a while since I've done any uh, video, or maybe a week, I don't even know where the days go to be honest. Um, quite a lot has happened over the last um, week, my chest got bad which meant I had to increase all my steroids so you can imagine I was on 3 milligrams and all of a sudden I had to increase them to 35 milligrams which is a massive jump. So, and I was liaising between all my ologists, my endocrinologist, because he's weaning me off the steroids, but then I had to speak to my um, respiratory uh, doctor because we know that when my chest is bad, I need the steroids. So it was a lot of toing and froing. Um, it was a bit like a comedy act. I was on the phone to Sam, the respiratory guy, and I was like, sorry, Sam, gotta go. I'm on the phone to Kareem, who's my endocrinologist. Um, and the, it's just a bit mad that this this is my life. Um, so I've also had to increase my nebulizers, which obviously takes a lot more time, a lot longer. Um, <clears throat> the other night I was sitting up in bed and I was having a coughing attack and... Mark was like, Natalie, just lie down. I was like, yep, just trying to breathe at the moment. Because I I physically, what happens is um, your airways become a bit tighter, so it's harder to get things out. Um, so that has taken kind of over my week because it made me feel pretty rubbish. And then it was my mum's birthday last week and... Um, I basically realised that I couldn't do a lunch and a dinner in a day and um, got to the starters at my family dinner and basically had to be more or less carried home because I just literally in that second flopped, my body just couldn't handle it and it literally, I was like fine one minute talking and then that was it, the next minute I was lying down in pain, Mark carried me home um so a lot going on um oh this was a this was funny so because I take the steroids and they can stop you sleeping so well um and they had been doing that they'd been keeping me up a lot longer than normal so on the night of my sleepover with Lacey I took them just a little bit earlier, like an, my normal pills an hour earlier, because I thought, oh, you know what, they're not going to work, but if I can get a bit of more sleep, I will. And of course, that night, I, within the hour, I was like drifting, but it's not just drifting, you feel like you're drunk, you don't know what you're saying. So I could hear Lacey speaking to me in my ear, and she's getting really annoyed with me and asking me questions. And I physically couldn't get the words out of my mouth. It was quite scary, actually. They just wouldn't come. I knew what I wanted to say to her. So I said something like, oh, do you want the orange twirl? Because I knew that I had an orange twirl by my bed. And she said to me the next day, mummy, it was like you were hallucinating. You asked me if I wanted to do yoga. <sighs> And I'm laughing, but actually she must have been really frightened. So a few days after, I, you know, I let it lie. And then I said to her yesterday, I said, Lace, you know, I'm really sorry about the other night. I said, I must have really, really scared you when I was saying all those things and the pills made me feel a bit funny. And she was like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> like, leave me alone. And I said, okay, as long as you're okay, but I just want you to know that I'm sorry because I know how, um, you know, I felt in that moment. Um, so yeah, it's been a busy week. I actually went to get some healing, which I mean, I, I haven't done in forever. So that was good. And tomorrow I'm going to see my new neurologist. This will be number seven um i've arranged everything in place so that when i 
see him he should have all scans all images um, and it's just really I don't know what it's for anymore whether it's for clarification well first of all it is for clarification just so I know what drug I can go on next um, to see if he agrees with the other guy or woman or whoever I was last seeing and um, to see if they're all in agreement um, but what was really interesting is my MRI of my stomach came back normal now my PET scan showed it was all inflamed so it just doesn't make sense somewhere so I just need that one individual to put all those dots together to make me feel better so I have done a lot of resting in between this week I've realized just how much rest I have needed um, and I will have more for you tomorrow have a good day bye